TNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Friday, the 19th of July. We're looking at the Dow down 150 at 40,513. Uh, Had a round number, 41,376.00, all-time high yesterday. That's amazing. If that gets taken out, it opens the upside. At this particular point, I think there's a digestive phase. And I'll talk about that in my show coming up the Tiger Technician's Hour, and also I'll be preparing for my webinar coming up on uh, Tuesday, and that's talking about sectors that are appealing, uh, stocks that should uh, that are di digesting gains, as well as the areas that look like they can do very nicely in, this, in the next uh, six weeks or so. All right, here we go. We're looking at the S&P. S&P yesterday took a dive. Another big red candle today. Now, I, I'm not sure if this is part of the outage or anything, but we're down 44 in the S&P. Uh, it, it looks really weird. It looks a little, let me see the SPY. Because I know that for some, yeah, there you are, the SPY. That's a little different. SPY is up 16 at 552. And, oh, that's right, because of the futures. So we've got the SPY is telling us that it's under the 14-period moving average for the second day. Let's see how that holds. QQQ, this is taking this digestive phase quite seriously, which go on a little longer, and it's down 17 cents at 479.39. IWM is actually up 58 cents. This is the area that I like a lot, and 218.53. Uh, small caps are starting to show some strength. The uh, gold is down, I'd say down, down a little bit, down 70 points at 2405. There's that peak E, there's that left side, right side price time match. It went above it, couldn't close above it, and now we're back sharply lower. But if you look at the, the weekly charts, just a rectangle formation, the dollar is showing some strength. Uh, very nice bounce. I'm treating this as a bounce within the rectangle formation, and it's up 17 ticks at 104.36. Let's go to crude oil. Crude oil right now is um, down $1.44 at 18.79. Now let's go to the U.S. Treasury, there we go, down sharply, down over a point, and that is an issue for me because it means deals are going a little high. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour in a few moments' time. Check out my opening call daily newsletter, and, the, and I'll be doing the overview uh, video this afternoon.